Yes, we do indeed. Of course, here at Expresso, we're all about promoting local talent and especially when it comes to our local film industry, we love having interviews with our stars. And in fact, I'm joined this morning by Niels van Jarsveld and Nicola Hanekom, who are part of the cast of a brand new film called Three Fools, actually based on a true story that might take you to years gone by. But first, a good morning. Great to have both of you here. Nicola, you were saying, yes, no, it's very early for me. Are you awake now? <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic, because it's an exciting day indeed. And uh, Niels, I'm going to talk to you first. Um, the fact that uh, a lot of people know you uh, from uh, hard copy on the couch. You, you've, you've been on productions before. Uh, tell me about what it was like for you uh, playing in Three Fools and how it compares to other roles that you've done before. Wow. Um, look, it, it was very interesting. It was lovely working with Quentin Kroch. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. Yeah. Um, we know each other from Varsity already. We, used to, uh, we did a play with Martinez Passon called Box, where I had to train to be a lightweight boxer, and he was my trainer. So, all that lekker gesweet saam and gewerkt saam, so ken him. All that lekker gesweet saam. All that lekker Right? We had work gekom. Now, that's not Damn it. Live TV. But, um, and then, natuurlijk, om saam met Nicola te werk. It was an exceptional experience. I think it's a fantastic film. Um, I think it's, it's, it's wonderful to be part of something uh, that's that's important and, and exhilarating and, and, the, and the, you know, he stays true to the storytelling of it all, so people need to go watch it. It was a wonderful, wonderful experience. I'm, I'm going to get back to that where, where you said it's something important, so think about that because I want to know why you say it's important. But Nicola, yeah. for you playing in a story based on a real story or a true story, uh, Freddie Fools, what, what has that been like for you as, an, as a seasoned actress? I think the young pool of talent, the leads, they did very well because they were portraying the main characters of, uh, of you know, the real life. And I was astounded by, by their performances, really. I watched the film and I was, I was blown away. And then for me, of course, to act opposite Niels because we come... We go uh, at least a, a decade or more, I'm giving away our age. Yeah, that's right. Don't do that. And then I was acting opposite Elise Kaywood, who I've been a fan of my whole life. Were you starstruck? Yes, I am a bit, because I, I, I'm in a scene with her and she has tremendous ease when she acts. It's as, as if it just comes through her. It doesn't seem that she's nervous or yeah. anything. So that was amazing. Give yeah. us a bit of a background on the film and the story behind Fiddy Fools. And also, why did you say it's so important that this is an important film, Niels? Well, I think first of all, I need to realize or just uh, be completely, um, you know, aware of what I say in interviews next time because then they're going to ask me, you know, cross-examine me. <laughs> but um, I think impo what's important for me is I was referring specifically to the, the filmmaking and, and the way it was handled. Yeah. I think the uh, attention to detail and, and the art of it, I think, didn't get lost. I think a lot of people uh, need to understand that, that there's more than just telling the story, you know, yes. with film being such a powerful medium, uh, you know, the shots that you choose, the the steady cams that they use, the editing, that sort of thing. I think it's just a well put together product. And I think a lot of people and a lot of aspiring filmmakers can look at it as an example, um, or, you know, Quentin's work and then, I don't know, the, the acting style and that sort of thing. It's just an ex exceptional example of how to make a good, good film. Yeah. Um, uh, the story is loosely based, I mean, it's based on a, on a water for all, you know, a true story. Yeah. Uh, I play the dad. Huh, there I am. Is it that's gay? A, that's an actual... <laughs> Full snor in alles. That's a rechte snor. Can you glo? That's my actual wow. snor. Wow. Yeah, which is fantastic. Yeah. 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 Him with his facial furs on. Yeah. yeah. And, and then lang kousen, die koord brug. Kijk hij binkies? Kijk hij binkies. In the verd, in the verd. And then obviously something interesting in the course, but he's got a little bit of a, you know, drinking problems and stuff like that. But um, I don't want to give too much away, um, but it's just, it's, she plays my lovely wife and it's always wonderful to play opposite her. But I think what's interesting to see is also the, the, the local talent, talent and the youngsters. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, rising to the occasion, which I think is very exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you both for joining us and uh, good luck with the film. I hope that it really does bring in the success that you plowed into it, the hard work that you put into it. And of course, Free Fools debuts today nationally. Go yeah. check it out. So go out there and yeah. check it out. In fact, we've got a sneak peek for you. Check it out. Love you, Sampi de Klerk, that you Irma nooit sal verlaat, that you haar in liefde sal eerbiedig en help, soos a God vreesende man. Ek beloof. En beloof jy, Irma Humpel, dat jy Sampi nooit sal verlaat nie. Dat jy om in liefde sal eerbiedig en help. En aan hom onderdanig sal wees, soos een godvreesende vrou aan haar man verskuldig is. Irma, wat is jou antwoord? I thought, I thought I know that church. I've seen it somewhere, but it's in Krachbron. I've never been there before. But check it out. Uh, the film is called Furry Fools, and it is available nationwide at cinemas today. But right now, it's time to catch up on what's happening this coming weekend. And, of course, the SABC Crown Gospel Awards are coming up. And uh, Zoe's got the lowdown on the music that keeps our spirits up.